Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were being back. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. some reason before 10 a.m. Which is actually a good thing. Nice habit to get into for me. I hope everyone's doing okay. I mean, just moving everything here.
everything I can. Long as the black ones are chasing gorillas around the Kedweni woods, Novograd's safe. What village are you from? Willows. It's into my area two days road from the Zima. Got my eye on you, white one. How'd you go with this here? I was fucking about Should my own business when suddenly Cuppy pops and heals me. He's <laughs> my head spinning. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Dream come. 
boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? It permits me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. <laughs> there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr.? Doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then.
Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely <laughs> doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Okay. Day like any other. The reapers ah. come for me. Yeah, yes they have. Do you seek to get me drunk? Ah. If I was oh. seeking to get you drunk, madam, we would not be drinking Cote de Bliss Why are not? It's too expensive. Did I hang the wash or not? They ought to never let your kind in, no Brad proper. Haunted house, huh? Yeah. What level? How you go with this healer? I was fluffing about, minding my own business, when suddenly up he pops and... Witcher, Witcher. Kareen, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why. But we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. So this subplot is... Yes. Boom! Scare you! Okay. So I take it that must have been a good ending. That's nice.
Life sweat enough in the gut. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then. Some other bloke's already after it. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. He's lying in there where I found him. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks. So long. of a garcane or a flutter. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Vampire. Doesn't look like claws of a vampire. Seems like it had lost some strength was sneaking along the shoreline.
heavy armor, but less, but ooh, a nice boost to the HP though. for vampires. Cursed ones. I don't know what vampires are. Blame it is. Do I have vampire or anything I can make? Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them!
This guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Yeah. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. Polish a turd. Oh, actually, you can't polish me. Novigrad's Mythbusters have proven it. Skinflints. Sure Skinflints riding skin You shall flints. die for what you've done. What's this about? This Duan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf! You despise humans, seek vengeance on us! But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. Don't see any proof this man sold anyone fist tech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgern. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. Ha! Dead anyway, though. So. 
Hey, <laughs> look at this one. Honor in the fatherland. Seven cash and so but we mill it, they said. It'll pay off, they said. Wanted. Cradle. Used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Be so pale if you ate onions and oil. A day like all others. Oh boy. It's a red one, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of the Lander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you. You know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs, weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. 
So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And he had Keridin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. This Sleaze, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Who suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Goyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... <laughs> no, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. <laughs> You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck.
sure it is. Um. Well, it looks like this one's on is on break until I can figure out where that place is at. Child's warning. Another this night. Anybody there? Open up. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You made this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. <laughs> Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. You might going to have technical difficulties here. Hi, Whitehead! Nice bunny I'm going to have some difficult, <laughs> technical difficulties he here. Blush. Ah! By Jimmy, I cut off his hand, then ordered him to shut it up the hoops his arse. And then he sent the body back. Well, he was a big one. He's going to like the Dragon Mountains. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen him. Right. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when 
and only when all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven. Whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, he was lots more trusting when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? 
I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. <laughs> I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. True. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the Ugh. casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long.
I want to visit his home first. a king. Are you a wizard? Oh. <clears throat> I had enough of this job. I asked for fresh fish. Watch this. Fresh fish? You call this fresh? With its googly eyes and, and those gills, it reeks of Novigrad gutters. <laughs> Fishermen fear the... <laughs> Devil's spawn. Yablets off to the latest fashion. Get them here and only here. They look Nils Guardian. The fashion has come from the south. Soon everything will look Nils Guardian. No one. Uh-oh. I think that peas cut was overripe. before I'd expect to find horse and hiding in his house. Cleaver said to be thorough, so we look everywhere. Not a Nothing interesting here. Those rats will congregate to feast. All roads lead to Mahakam. Seems to me I've heard of you before, white hair. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. <laughs> dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. has been scrubbed clean.
you see in the dark, and you're sturdy. Make a fine load sniffer if you weren't so tall. The dwarves who pot snow white cherry. Fuck you. Blame that on us too. Have a hard time fighting the work here, watch out. Wait about it. Ah. Uh, since I'm here. Do you wish the eternal fire's blessing upon you and your household? Come, true believer. May its light shine. Watch it, or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. You might have said so right away. Countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. What are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password, signalling you wish to buy some herbs. You're about as much a priest of the eternal fire as I am a Vestal Virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. Folks eat conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. Yet in turbulent times like these... Think it's safer to don priest's robes? See, thing is, in this town, impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. I impersonate no one. I am a priest. Though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to reconcile the two. Uh, will you report me? Or shall we make a deal? Trying to bribe me? Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. Show me what you have in stock. What's this? Piercing. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, a thousand. Take care. Why did that happen? How do I get there?
wolves howling. I think it's the time I need to start doing that so I can get some of the things for it. Food sounds nice. Updated. Did I f completely forget about going to that? Uh... Taken to a guard post. It's been three days now. I can offer no aid there. No way. But the temple guard holds him. Those were the days. What's the rush? Anymore. <coughs> your blades. Why not hit your waist like everyone else? Oh, and remember, oh, never venture into the bits alone. Always take a partner. Rubbish. What a wife. Oh, how about a dog? You heard? Oh, Getting on me 
Yeah. Greetings. Don't know you. Not letting you in. And don't you fucking stand there. Sure, we can work this out. How's that? I pay you, you let me in. Uh, give it here. Get in. And remember, we've an eye on you. Who runs the fights? Igor. Corridor then left. Come on, get ready. Your turn now. Will you I'm ready. Losers get paid anything. <laughs> Losers get carted off to the cemetery. Looking for something unusual. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Remember our deal, I hope. Switch this all for a rusty. Ah. You need to hold on for a moment. I'll hold on, all right. And then I'll gut the arsenal. Captured and displayed in the sideshow. There you go. That's it. Now we agree on more. Take it. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. Fine. All in all, don't really care who I'm gonna protect. Just looking for work. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. Done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you manage in a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Ready your purses! Betting is open! That's From the Far East, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water! A witcher! A murderous mutant! His opponent, Gustav Rohn! A man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife! Yeah. Ever a fight to the death! got kids. Three. I will not kill him. Release the hounds! Born brawlers in battle! A fracas! A rumpus! A fray! The Witcher versus the Hairy Brothers! Straight from the Wild Isles of Skellige! Sired by a mountain bear! They live to Real. kill! Or end like your brother. Thank <laughs> you. 
the Witcher doing what he does best? Face to face with beasts! Oh, hell no. Especially for you, for the first time in a long time, release Boris! Plowing scragged and furrow. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. Cyprian Wiley, known the most as Horson Jr., appreciates good handiwork. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's torso in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And will someone please kill the blasted witcher? You heard the men. Kill him. Worn by a moving door, something behind this wall. Interesting.
Deekstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Here, let's move along. Coffin sing this cheap. He's Ah! 
time to end this. Looking to enlist with the Temple Guard. Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Jr. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up, at least. On second thought, I need food. I will pro take a break for an hour or two, unless I get distracted, and come back for more. Stay safe, all. 